next uh, we'll do decoders so first we'll do 2 to 4 decoder after that uh, we'll do 3 to 8 uh, decoder so first of all uh, let us see what is the definition for uh, decoder the objective of decoder is to decode an n bit uh, binary number producing a signal on one of the 2 power n output lines so here actually uh, three inputs are there so three means 2 power 3 possible outputs so three inputs means 2 power 3 is 8 so 8 similarly if two inputs are there means 2 power 2 four outputs so now uh, whenever inputs are actually here actually the encoder will do the code of uh, for all the eight inputs it will code the eight inputs into different different uh, uh, th codes so actually decoder will do the opposite job of encoder encoder suppose eight inputs are there it will code the uh, eight inputs with uh, three bits because uh, to code eight bits eight uh, uh, data three bits are sufficient zero 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 to one 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 zero zero means zero 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 three zeros are actually for d naught and uh, 111 for d7 so that is a job of encoder now decoder is actually do the opposite of encoder if you give coded input okay here for example if you give 000 after decoding only uh, out of seven outputs only d0 should be given with one okay next if you give coded input as 100 then only d4 should be high all other outputs are zero if you give uh, this coded input as 111 then only d7 should is high all others are zero so decoder output any one of the output is out of uh, these outputs any one output uh, is actually one all others are zero because that code in the encoder will code uniquely each uh, inputs are coded with uh, unique uh, code if you give that code at the output only that particular uh, uh, output should become one now so now we'll see the two table of two to four decoder two inputs two inputs means two power two it is four outputs d naught d1 d2 d3 if the code inputs if you are giving as zero zero then actually d1 should run all others are zero zero if you code zero one input are zero one then d1 should be high all others are zero if you give one zero uh, 2 should be high, D2 should be high, all others are 0, 0, 1, 1. So D3 should be high, all others are 0. So no two outputs are high for any particular given code because when encoder, when it is doing encoding, okay, for example, here uh, 2 to 4, 4 to 2 in encoder, 4 inputs are there, they are coded with uh, 1 is, uh, D naught is coded with 0, 0, D1 is coded with 0, 1, D2 is coded with 1, 0, D3 is coded with 1, 1. So decoder should decode it. If I give one one, only D3 should be high, all others are zero. Okay. So to implement this using uh, logic gates, so whenever D naught is one, you can see A, uh, A is zero, B is zero. So you have to write A bar, B bar. Similarly, D1, A bar, B. Zero means you have to write bar of the input. One means without bar. Uh, D2 is actually one zero. So A and uh, B is actually 0, so B bar you right? A, B bar, and D3 is actually A, B. Whenever D3 is high, input condition is 1, 1. That means A and B without bars. So these are the expression for D0, D1, D2, D3. And to implement this, uh, just uh, I'll open uh, the mux is there. So I'll rename this as, uh, uh, save as, I'll rename it as 2 to 4 decoder. So I have to write this diagram. So I don't want like in Max, uh, we use this one or this, I don't want. I'm just converting the that uh, 4 is to 1 Max into this. So A, this one I'll rename it as A.
So if you are doing new new one directly, if you are doing this there only, so you have to pick actually two inputs and get. So all are actually three inputs. So replace. I am replacing the component with uh, two input and get. If you are doing first time, go to place uh, component, then select all device, uh, all families, type and two, you will get it. So four you have to place. So four and gates are used. I am actually modifying four is to one max into this. If you are doing new one, uh, you have to pick four and gates. You will get like this. So after that, uh, this finally uh, only for max actually for uh, one R gate is required. So for this, uh, now it is not required. We want four probes. Okay. So this one, copy, control C and paste four times. So four outputs are there. Okay, now uh, to check as we are using uh, the probes here, whether it is I or not. Okay, now uh, uh, this is if you rename it as D naught. If you rename this as D naught, this one is renamed as D one. Rename as uh, D1. A label you have to change, not value. This is D2. Next is D3. Okay, now uh, I think uh, D naught is connected with A bar and B bar. So A bar and B bar. And D1 is connected with A bar B. So A bar is connected. Now I have to connect B. This is connected to A bar. This is A after the NOT gate, you will have A bar. This is B after the NOT gate, you will have B bar. And uh, uh, D2 is A, B bar. A and B is connected to the B bar. And uh, D3 is A into B. This is uh, A line, this is B line. Now I will run this. So now I can see for any input combination, for any input combination, either D naught to D D3, any one should be high. So now it is actually zero one. So zero one means you are getting uh, you are getting uh, D1 as high. If you make zero zero, then you can see D naught is high. A B, the decoded output is D naught is high. All others are zero. Is for zero one. D1 is actually high, all others are 0. So for 1, 0, for 1, 0, 
t2 is high all others are zero and for 1 1 uh, d3 is high all others are zero so decoder output only one should have the output high all other outputs are because while doing the coding uh, it should be unique coding so if you give that uh, coded input one after decoding only one uh, should have high all other should have zero so this is the uh, actually two is to four decoder now for three is to eight decoder we have to have uh, i think uh, uh, three is to eight decoder i will have circuit Yeah, here uh, a circuit diagram is actually rig up using for this direct diagram. This is a true table. And this is a circuit diagram. So three input eight AND gates are you have to pick. Go to place component. Pick a three input eight AND gates and three NOT gates. Three digital interactives and eight uh, probes to indicate the output. So after that, uh, uh, we can verify the two table. Okay, this is circuit diagram. When all the inputs are zero, now uh, I think two to four decoder only running. Go to three to eight decoder. So once you start running, so circuit diagram is already there. Okay, I'll, uh, you can see the verification uh, two table here only. Here only will verify. When A, B, C are 0, 0, only D naught should be high. When A, B, C is 0, 0, 1, D1 should be high. Uh, 0, 1, 0 means 2. Uh, 0, 1, 1 means 3, so D3 should be high. 1, 0, 0 means 4, so D4 should be high. 1, 0, 1 means uh, 5 should be high, D5. 1, 1 means, 1, 1, 0 means 6, so D6 should be high. 1, 1, 1 means 7, so uh, D7 should be high. So this is after decoding. The encoder job is, if eight inputs are there, they are coded with three bits because to code eight uh, different inputs, three bits are sufficient. Zero, zero, zero for the first one and one, one, one for last one. So encoder job is to encode these eight inputs into this code. Now if you give this coded input, after decoding, only one of the uh, device should get high, all others should uh, zero. After decoding, you are going to get only one output as high, all other are zero. So now you can see uh, this one. I am going to run this. So here, see, all are one, 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 one. So D8 is actually after decoding. This code is belongs to this one. Now, if I give zero, 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 zero is belongs to D naught. So you have to rename here D naught, D1, D2, D3. You can rename this one D naught. Similarly, D1. So rename all up to D7. D2, D3, like that you have to rename. So we have to verify the true table. So now 0, 0, 001 if I give. So you have to run this first. So 0, 0, 001 means say, if it is 0, 0, 0, 
D naught, 0, 0, 1 means D1, it's coming automatically. 0, 1, 0 means 2, 0, 1, 1 means 3, 1, 0, 0 means 4, 4, 1, 0, 1 means 5, 1, 1, 0 means Uh, 110 means 6 and lastly 111 is 7. So at any point of if give any one of the possible inputs at, a, at that point any one of the output is 1. If, uh, there are 8 possible codes you can get here because 000 to 111 corresponding to that any one of the output is 1 all other outputs are 0. So in this case no need to use uh, or gate and uh, uh, because it is many input many output okay so uh, three inputs are there eight outputs are there so many inputs many outputs so this is uh, similarly you can extend 4 is to 16 uh, decoder so like that you can extend any number of uh, inputs and outputs